So let's see what happened to the restructure of the interest rate if the tax changed. Yeah, suppose federal government decide to increase the federal income tax. So how can this affect municipal bond units? Yeah, the nickname for the municipal bond is munis. And treasury bond. Treasury bond, the nickname is a T bond. And the one important thing related to the municipal bond is municipal bond is not subject to the federal income tax. So here we can say municipal bond munis is tax free bond. But for the treasury bonds, investors buy this bond, receive interest. The interest will be subject to the federal income tax. So let's first draw the supply and the demand curve for the each bond here. Yeah, again, we assume these two bonds initially has the same price level, which implies these two bonds have the same level of the interest rate initially. So that's the municipal bond. We use M. That's the treasury bond. We use a T. So after federal government decide to increase the income tax, which bond become more attractive? Because municipal bond is a tax free, so whatever return or interest municipal bond offered, the investors can receive the 100% of the interest. However, for the T bonds, if the tax increased, investors have to pay more tax on the interest they receive from the T bond, so which means they will have a lower after tax return. because they have to pay the tax. They have to pay more tax. But for the municipal bond, because it's a tax free, so you can imagine they have a higher after tax return. So now we can see these two bonds offer a different level of the after tax return return will affect the supply or the demand. When you go back to check your notes, you will find out return is a part of the factor that affect the demand side. So because this bond, municipal bond, can offer you higher after test return, would you like to buy more this bond? Yes, because this bond return is more attractive. So the demand for this bond will go up which will push the demand curve to the right. So you can find out the high, higher level of the price for the municipal bond. But on the other hand, because subject to the higher test rate, treasury bonds demand will reduce. So which means demand curve for this market will shift to the left. It will lead to the lower price level. So price of this bond, treasury bond, job. Price for this market, T bond, will up. 
and then we know interest rate has a negative relation with the bond price so the interest rate for the municipal bond market will drop interest rate for the treasury market will go up so now we can see which interest rate will be higher because initially we assume both bank has the same level of the interest rate now municipal bank interest rate drop and the treasury interest rate up so we can find out the treasury bonds the interest rate tend to be higher than the municipal bond interest rate if the federal government decide to increase the test.